In the 10th century, long before telescopes, satellites, or modern observatories, one man measured the heavens with such accuracy that today's astronomers still study his work. His name was Ibn Yunus al-Misri, an Egyptian genius born in Cairo, a scholar who transformed astronomy with methods centuries ahead of his time. Ibn Yunus lived during the Fatimid period, when Cairo was rising as one of the world's great centers of knowledge. Surrounded by mathematicians, philosophers, and engineers, he focused on one question, how precisely can we measure the motion of the heavens? His answer would shock the scientific world. Ibn Yunus created one of the most sophisticated astronomical works of the Middle Ages, the Al-Zij al-Hakim, also known as the Hakamite Tables. Inside it, he recorded thousands of extremely accurate planetary observations, meticulous measurements of solar motion, eclipse timings, star positions, and the most advanced trigonometric calculations of his. Era, these tables became so precise that later European astronomers, even centuries later, compared them to the work of Tycho Brahe and Kepler. But Ibn Yunus didn't just observe. He invented tools. He designed a giant mural quadrant, built on the wall of an observatory in Cairo, allowing him to measure celestial angles with unprecedented precision. Using this device, he calculated the Earth-S axial tilt, the exact timing of equinoxes, planetary inclinations, and the length of the solar year with astonishing accuracy. Some of his measurements were off by only a few seconds. No medieval astronomer anywhere in the world came close, and Ibn Yunus had another breakthrough. He developed the trigonometric identities that modern students learn today. He refined the law of signs, improved spherical trigonometry, and used algebraic methods to solve astronomical problems in new ways. Centuries later, European scholars would discover these same formulas. Unaware they were perfecting tools Ibn Yunus had already mastered long before. Even Isaac Newton indirectly benefited from him. Newton used lunar observations recorded by Ibn Yunus to test his gravitational theory, proving that this forgotten scholar helped shape the foundations of modern physics. And yet, despite his precision, brilliance, and influence, his manuscripts remained tucked away in Cairo's libraries, overshadowed by later astronomers. Today we know the truth. Whenever a spacecraft charts a planetary orbit, whenever a satellite calculates an angle, Whenever trigonometry is used to measure distance in the sky, it carries echoes of Ibn Yunus, S. Genius. He lived a thousand years ahead of his time, one of the silent architects of modern astronomy, and a name the world should never forget. And if you want a deep, long-form documentary on Ibn Yunus, 